Hey, what's up? It's me, Caitlin, back again trying to do the YouTube. I'm just gonna talk about my opinion on the most recent season of 13 Reasons Why. Specifically, I just want to talk about how adults are portrayed in 13 Reasons Why and how high schoolers are portrayed in 13 Reasons Why and how that blends to a general feeling of unreality, like surrealism. So let's just get straight into it. I finished the second season of 13 Reasons Why about two or three weeks ago and I was tweeting a lot about it and how angry I was at the show. And a lot of people are angry at the show and they have every right to be, but it's more for the reason that the show is, you know, an unrealistic portrayal of mental illness and why people commit suicide, which is a very valid reason to dislike the show. The video that I'm doing today, I just want to talk about the other part of the <laughs> the reason <laughs> that the show is bad, which is that the writing is really awful. So when you're writing fiction, you have to get your audience or your reader to suspend disbelief, which basically means that you have to make them buy into the universe that you have created. 13 Reasons Why is a show that takes place in the real world, obviously. <laughs> what makes a show like that believable is they add situations that actually happen in real life. And the show tries to do this in a number of ways. The problem is, is that they're more focused on adding relevant issues into the show rather than talking about things that most normal high schoolers go through, which does include like depression and suicide. Like that's a very real thing that high schoolers struggle with. But the thing that they fuck up is that they don't make the school environment one that is familiar. I was only in high school like two years ago and when I was watching this show I was like where are the adults? Where are your parents? Why are your parents trusting you so much? Why is there never a teacher in the hallway? A lot of the things didn't make sense and I understand that a lot of the drama comes from the fact that there aren't adults around and I'm not sure if the point is that they're trying to say like hey you should have a trusted adult to like tell these sorts of things to or that like adults need to step in more because the show isn't nuanced enough to address issues like that. The show would prefer to be like, hey, we have a heroin addiction. We have somebody dealing with rape, so let's throw the Me Too movement in there. And like, I'm not saying that you can't do that, but I'm saying that you have to do that with nuance and you have to do it tastefully. I didn't feel that they brought these issues into the show tastefully at all. So I felt like they slapped them in there because they're like, here's three relevant issues in the news right now, like let's just slap them in the show and kids will think that's cool and maybe we won't get in trouble this time for having a terrible show. But yeah, so back to the point about the portrayal of adults and high schoolers. Well, let's start with adults. The adults in the show are not around and then like they're not parenting their children like at all like these kids do not suffer consequences for their actions at all i.e clay clay just yells at his parents like all the time and they like buy him a car and he's like always out and they trust him for some reason even though he's like never home and never tells him where they're going i grew up in like a strict household but like <laughs> And it's not just Clay, like all of their parents are like so oblivious to what's going on, which is the opposite of most parents in my opinion. I feel like most know what's gonna happen before it's gonna happen. But the problem is, is that the show doesn't frame them to be inattentive parents. Like it kind of does, but it's not clear enough with that because all of these parents care really deeply for their children and they actually actively reach out to their children and be like hey are you okay like hey can we like talk about like what you're going through right now especially like after hannah committed suicide like a lot of their parents are like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. like like they didn't see that coming i want to make sure i see it coming with my child you know what i mean that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how could these parents who are, like, so concerned for their children, like, it just 
the way that they portray it, these parents just does not make sense. It does not add up. You have a parent who's worried about their child, but meanwhile trusts them completely to just wander out, come home at any hour of the night, and then they're just like, yeah, it's Clay. The thing about the teachers, on the other hand, is that they're never around. Like, there's like a full-on fight in the hallway, and not a single teacher was in the hallway, and it was like during school. In my high school, our teachers moved rooms a lot of the time, so they would be out in the hallways with us, and if they didn't move rooms, they would still see what's going on in the hallway, even if they were like busy. Like, they can hear what's going on, you know what I mean? And then the portrayal of the- just all the characters, I hated all of them so much. I just didn't care what was going to happen to any of them. I actually hoped that for most of them something bad would happen to them because I just was so tired of them. Like Clay, I hate Clay so much. He's so self-righteous. Like the first season I felt sorry for him. And the second season I'm like, who the fuck are you? Going around being like, oh, but I can like solve Hannah's problem. Like I'm like, boy, you need to get your ass in like grief counseling and therapy. You need help. He just had this self-righteous attitude about him and he was just so pissy and everything about him just ticked me off. Like he's just so insufferable as a character and I just could not sympathize for him at all. The only characters I really liked were Zack. I liked Jessica until the end of the season and then she goes and cheats on Alex. It's like cool, okay, now, now I hate Jessica, that's cool none of them were believable like i was like there i don't know a single person like any single character in the show i feel like you're supposed to identify with one of them like a breakfast club situation but i don't identify with any of them which is like not me being like <laughs> you can't put me in a box uh. they just don't make sense as characters they're all really annoying all of the dialogue is cringe worthy to watch in my opinion I think that her always storming off anytime somebody tries to say anything to her is super unrealistic. Her character never has a conversation with anybody that lasts more than like three lines. That's not how people talk to each other. Another example of this, anytime Clay goes up and like confronts somebody, all the in interactions are just so unnatural and bizarre. You're probably wondering, hey, if you hated the show so much, why did you watch the whole second season? Watching the second season of 13 Reasons Why is like, like watching reality TV because the interactions between characters and the situations that they are in are so unrealistic. So yeah, I don't think that was very coherent, but I'm really tired and that's all I really have to say today. So that's the video I'm doing. Bye guys.